Hello, welcome back to the Squash Bagel. I have been able to get my hands on the Dunlop Sonic Core Ultimate 132, which is Diego Elias's signature racket. I have not had it for a long period of time. I'm actually using it. It belongs to someone else who I will be returning to tomorrow. So I will give you a quick overview about the racket. So obviously just the overall picture of the racket, some of the pros and some of the cons, which I could determine from a brief period of time with the racket. Timestamps for all these sections in the video will be found below. And without further ado, let's go. So the Dunlop Sonic Core Ultimate 132, it's quite a mouthful, yes. This obviously comes from Dunlop's newer range of rackets. There have obviously been Ultimates in the past, but this one obviously boasts the Sonic Core technology. As you can see here, it has got quite a large head size coming in at 500 square centimeters. The balance is a headlight balance, which I will probably say does reign true, especially with the fact that I have put, or Warren has actually put, lighter strings in here but i would say it's probably more towards the even side but i could understand how they would say it is a headlight balance bracket as you can see with the string density or the stringing pattern here it has quite a dense stringing pattern 16 by 19 where dunlop normally has a 14 by 19 stringing pattern on the revelation pro and the revelation pro light so this is a racket which is supposed to give you a lot more control than what you already get with some of their teardrop brackets i think to compensate for this high string density they obviously decided to have a larger head size which makes sense because at the end of the day you want a racket which is not going to just allow you to place the ball and not actually hit it with power as the name suggests the ultimate 132 we've got a, we've got a frame rate of 132 grams but i measured it at 158 grams all in so that obviously includes the grip as well as the string and due to factory tolerances that could differ to some of the weights that some people have measured on their rackets i think if i look at squash gear review i think they measured it more towards 156 grams this, this racket specifically has been customized in terms of the string. Warren, who owns this racket, has gone with the Diego Elias configuration of stringing with the Ashway Ultronic 18s at 24 pounds, which is actually quite nice, very different in terms of string. First time I've ever, ever actually used a string, but it makes sense. I think I wouldn't have put this combination together, but I think seeing Diego play with it so often, it does make it sort of seem acceptable since it's not something that is odd. You know, blue and the yellow and black for me. Yeah, but that's obviously got to do with cosmetics. In terms of cosmetics, we've got the Dunlop logo on the side, the Sonic Core Ultimate writing, obviously falling in line with Dunlop's new cosmetics. With regards to paint job, as I said, seemed decent for now. Not to show how long it lasts. That's one thing that I did pick up on the previous Revelation Pro Lights. I think after about a week, you can definitely see a lot of scratches on the paint, or even really scratches, I guess, some of the paint wearing off. I think in terms of everything else, in terms of how it feels in the air, it is something that you have to get used to if you haven't played with a racket like this, if you haven't obviously used a racket racket with the head size as big for a traditional shape so it was something that i had to sort of get used to not to say it's not maneuverable but yeah we'll get into that when it comes to pros and cons so actually now that we say cons let's actually probably start with the cons in terms of maneuverability that's where i want to start it's not that it's not maneuverable but it feels weird through the air and i think that's obviously because of the dense stringing pattern as well as the larger head size i do understand why the partnership does work because obviously with the really high density and the control that it delivers you obviously need a quite a large head size in order to deliver some sort of power just in order to keep compete with everyone so it is not the most powerful feeling racket out there but i think changing the string obviously really does make a difference and obviously good swing technique you can definitely get the power that you would want out of a racket like this with regards to maneuverability it is not heavy in the air it just doesn't feel as maneuverable as i would guess let's say a slash or a supreme which obviously has a smaller head size which means that the head will move through air obviously a lot quicker so with that being said i wouldn't like to say take shot making out if you look at someone like diego ls who's obviously won some of the shot of the months definitely you can definitely get your shots out of it but i think for someone who maybe you know flicks their wrists or let's say swings a racket really really fast in order to let's say hit the ball into the neck and it's not obviously the only way that you can do it i think it might not suit everyone because of the way it moves through the air if that sort of makes sense i would say it gives you a different kind of power you definitely get more of a power which is more subdued and i think when you transfer all your weight through the racket obviously into a ball and strike you definitely will get the power out but i think if you had to use the same sort of amount of force or energy and momentum to hit the ball in a let's say techni fiber carbon flex or the caracol or pro 2.0 i think you'll definitely get a bigger effect than with than what you would with this racket as i said with regards to the strings i found that i have hit with one of these before which had the dunlop iconic pro af which is the string that it comes with these ones are obviously a little bit thinner coming at 1.15 millimeters as i said the ultronic 18s and that definitely gives you a 
little bit extra power and I guess if you do want a little bit more power out of the racket you can lower the tension as I said this is coming in at 24 pounds with the Ultronic and it does a decent job but I'll probably want a little bit more I would probably drop it down to maybe 23 just from I guess the brief periods of time that I've played with this in terms of cosmetics as I mentioned I'm not a big fan of the colorway and also the fact that I haven't been able to test it as thoroughly as I'd like to I would like to see how the paint would survive i guess with a lot of rigorous or i guess constant play a lot more play but at the moment it looks good it feels good but at the same time as i said i have tested a dunlop before and i wasn't happy with the quality of the paint you get from dunlop i think from what i see online people are struggling to get the bumper it will seem that that is something that's really hard to get unless you are located in the uk with the string density which we'll obviously talk about with regards to what it does contribute to I don't think the Iconic Pro F would be the string of choice for me. And I have mentioned, obviously, the fact that this is not what it comes with. This is the Diego LS setup. But I think this will definitely not be the string for me. But I do understand why Dunlop would have to do that. They would obviously market their string, put their string in. But I think quite a few people would be looking towards changing this type of string, probably to a maybe a Technifiber Dynamics, Technifiber 1.1305 string, maybe the Asher Wave Powernik 18s. I think those would probably go well in this. I didn't obviously get the opportunity to test it. This is not my racket, as I mentioned, but it didn't do them any favors with the uh, string pattern or the dense string pattern. Okay, moving on to pros. I think that this is probably a placement player's dream. If you do admire the way that Diego Elias plays the ball, or like a Mohamed Zachariah, regarding how they actually approach the game in terms of actually being placement players and i think this racket could be a dream for you i think it's very forgiving obviously with your large head size taking balls in short obviously if you do get the mechanics right behind the volley i found placing the ball in specific areas of the court if you had played let's say in a zonal approach to your tactics I think you actually really like it. It actually does give you the opportunity to really change, I guess, pace, pick it up, slow it down, if you really are technically sound with what it is that you want to do on the court. I definitely felt, due to the fact that it had the muted power, it definitely allowed me to appreciate all aspects of the court. So what is it that you can do in front of the court or in the front half of the squash court when you don't have a weapon of just actually flicking your wrist or smacking the wall? at 100 kilometers per hour per se you know it definitely gives you the sort of sense that you want to actually explore all the other options because you do have to use other options it is not just you know a powerful racket i did actually find myself playing a lot more lobs you know a lot more trickle bows a lot more drops from the front court in the mid court obviously a lot more cross courts and as i said i haven't tested for a very long period of time but i found it very comfortable to do that and actually explore different aspects of my game so as i said it's, it's a placement player's dream if you like to obviously push the ball into all corners of the court as well as obviously use heights and you know use low targets obviously in the front wall high targets and switch it up i think you're actually going to really enjoy this racket and this racket probably allows you to do it because it's quite forgiving and also the um, as I said, the string pattern, it being really dense, offers you a lot of control. I found with the weight distribution, as I said, it might feel different through there compared to your smaller traditional head shapes. But I do find that it gave you quite a smooth swing. And I think that's really nice with regards to the heavier rackets. And I did mention, I think, previously in the video that I am enjoying sort of the heavier rackets because I'm getting a lot more of a consistent swing with a heavier frame weight compared to some of the lighter ones. Although, funny enough, the one that I am using now is obviously a bit light in terms of frame weight, but overall all in it, it isn't actually very different to this. I think Dunlop is doing a great job with the Sonic Core technology. I think they're doing a great job with marketing, the players that they have, obviously the caliber of players that they are sponsoring. And I think they are on their way to reclaiming what they had before, which is obviously a big market share of the racket space. I know Technify obviously still reigns supreme at the moment, excuse the pun. But I think Dunlop will definitely come back and is making a good comeback. I have it on good authority. Obviously, this is still a rumor that there will be a new range of Dunlops coming in September of 2024. What those rackets look like, I do not know yet. But as soon as I do find out or if I do actually, you know, find something on Reddit, I will obviously make a video about that. But there is a new range of Dunlop rackets coming in September 2024, which will probably be the end of the PSA season as, you know, the pro players will be taking their off season giving all the Dunlop I guess players opportunity to test the new rackets and maybe make changes that they need to make but yeah there is a new range of rackets what it looks like if they're bringing in new categories if they're discontinuing certain shapes and forms and rackets I do not know yet but 
thoroughly enjoyed this one without needing to drag this on. The only thing that I would like to say is I have been able to get my hands on the Dunlop Sonic Core Evolution 120, which is from the list. Actually, both of the previous videos on the list of rackets I would like to test. I'm currently using it. I have had them for about two weeks and I'm using it as my main racket, so still testing it out because that is a racket that I would want to use for the foreseeable future. So still testing it out, really enjoying it at the moment, but obviously when I have a little bit more information and have had time to do a few videos of me striking, I'll give you an update on that. But that is good news, obviously. I'm really happy with the work that Dunlop has been doing. I think they're bouncing back quite strong. It will be quite exciting to see what the new range has in store for us customers. Without making this video longer than it needs to, let me say goodbye and take care. Cheers.